out here on the Great Barrier Reef. We're looking for a venomous fish, specifically the stonefish. It's elusive, but also very dangerous. We're gonna have to be careful. The stonefish is armed with 13 dorsal spines that penetrate flesh and inject a toxic brew. Of the 1,200 venomous fish on Earth, this one is the most lethal. Jamie needs to collect venom from a stonefish to supply to anti-venom facilities. Anti-venom is made by injecting non-lethal quantities of venom into a horse or other creature. The animal's immune system produces antibodies that neutralize the toxins. Blood samples are drawn and centrifuged. The remaining white blood cells contain the precious antibodies. This is the serum that the hospitals administer to victims of envenomation. Jamie's goal is to catch a stonefish for milking so labs can regularly produce the antidote. I'm going to help him catch it. Right off the bat, I encounter a venomous creature. Stonefish aren't just hidden, but blend in superbly with their surroundings. These stonefish are incredibly well camouflaged. They're not gonna just jump right out at us. Suddenly, Jamie spots something. Oh, I see it, I see it, it's a stonefish, it's a stonefish right there. Man, that's incredible. I would never have seen that thing, not in a million years. If Jamie wouldn't have pointed it out, I would have swam right by it. It's a master of camouflage. The stonefish situates itself in sand or coral, then lies in wait for an unsuspecting meal to swim by. And when it does, it's over in a flash. The stonefish creates a vacuum by expanding its oral cavity, then sucks in its prey in less than a hundredth of a second. The spines of the stonefish, however, play no role in predation. It doesn't use its venom to get prey. The venom is only used in a defensive fashion. The stonefish has an arsenal of 18 spines, but it's the 13 venomous points along its back that can easily drop a human. Most envenomations are caused by accidentally stepping on the needle-sharp points. Each one is connected to two venom glands. That's 26 chances for envenomation. When a foot steps down, those glands engage, forcing venom into soft tissue like hypodermic needles. Moments after the sting, you feel excruciating pain at the site as venom literally blows holes in your cell membranes. Then, fluid floods into the surrounding tissue, causing extreme swelling of the limb. As the toxins move through your body, the vascular system dilates, resulting in a drop in blood pressure and an erratic heartbeat. Worst case scenario, death from lack of oxygen to the brain. 